For the past two years, Lake Washington School District has been studying ways to expand options for high school students to help them meet the state's 24 credit graduation requirement. Currently, in a six period high school day, students can earn six credits per year. Over four years, that's exactly 24 credits. This doesn't leave a lot of room for taking additional courses or for making up a credit. As a result, we've been reviewing high school schedule options that provide more flexibility for students. We are also looking at shifting the high school day later based on medical research. Any change in high school start times will affect the start and dismissal times for elementary and middle schools as well. The College and Career Readiness Task Force is considering several different options. Option one would extend the high school day by 25 minutes and create a seventh period. This would provide students the opportunity to earn seven credits per year with 28 credits over four years. Option two would extend the high school day by 15 minutes and create a seventh period. This would provide students the opportunity to earn seven credits per year with 28 credits over four years. Option three would extend the high school day by 30 minutes. The school year would be divided into three trimesters with five classes in each trimester. This would provide students the opportunity to earn seven and a half credits per year with 30 credits over four years. Two trimesters would equal one credit. Transportation at middle and elementary schools would be affected if the high school day is lengthened or if high school start times are changed. This is because our transportation system uses the same buses and drivers to serve all three levels. Here are how start times could change under each of the options under consideration. This chart shows the effects of a longer high school day on elementary school start and end times. The first column shows the effects of a longer high school day with no change in high school start time. The second and third columns show the effects of later start times for high school, 7.45 and 8 a.m. respectively. You will notice that elementary start and stop times are similar for options one and three, which add 25 minutes and 30 minutes respectively to the high school schedule. This chart shows the same effects, but this time applied to the middle school schedule. Again, middle school start times would be similar under options one and three, while middle school would start earlier for some schools under option two. This chart shows the same effects, but this time applied to high schools. While one of the factors is the change in high school start time, it's also important to see how the change in start time plus the longer school day will affect the end times for high schools. We are asking parents and staff members to provide feedback on these options. A link to the survey will be sent to parents and staff and will be available on the district website. Please take a moment to let us know your feedback.